Welcome to Craig's Gun Channel. In today's video, we're going to take a look at another offering from Brynight. In some previous videos, I've reviewed their dual beam uh, weapon light, the, the Scorpion, as well as their, uh, their PT-16 uh, larger format uh, flashlight. So in this video, we're going to take a look at their PT-28 Oathkeeper flashlight. Uh, it's this one right here. We'll go ahead and t uh, open it up, take a look, see what's inside. Okay, so first thing we got a PT-28 Oathkeeper palm size tactical light, maximum 1600 plus lumens. So it's a uh, palm size tactical flashlight for military, law enforcement officers, and outdoor sportsmen. Maximum output can reach 1600 plus lumens with its imported Cree LED. So uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at all the, the features and stuff in a moment. First right now, let's go ahead and take a look see it itself. So first we have the light itself. And this one is in uh, what they call their tan version. It comes in black or tan. Let's see. Uh, it doesn't have a battery in it now, it looks like. So, tail cap switch. It's got the side-mounted light. Magnetic charging port. It does have a, a clip, uh, which is removable. That can just snap off. Take a look at their accessories they have here. So it comes with a belt clip, which can be adjusted in uh, different ways. Uh, so you can put it on your belt, and uh, let's see, looks like this would be for the, the head of the light. Let's see, inside comes with uh, the magnetic charging cable comes with a, looks like a parachute line, like little mini carabiner type thing, lanyard loop, uh, a 18650 battery, looks like a 3100 milliamp hour, it's Brynite's, their branded version of their battery, has a couple spare O-rings, and they call it a tactical ring. So go ahead and open this up here. The battery compartment is O-ring sealed. It does have, I don't know if you'll be able to see this or not, a dual spring. So there's a spring in the tail cap, there's a spring on the interior as well. Uh, that way the battery itself uh, will be able to have uh, maintain good contact even if it moves around, so I do like that. Uh, crenellated bezel. Looks like you can mount that in either direction, so you could mount it like that, or just the opposite way. That way it allows you to have finger control while maintaining a, a good grip on it. Lanyard can hook it either way. The button's protected. I like that. It's a good tactical or tactile feel. Good solid click. Now it is an audible click, so um, probably wouldn't be the stealthiest, but uh, by the same token, uh, you're, when you click this button, you're going to have a huge illumination spill, so uh, you're not going to be sneaking by anybody anyway. Um, hmm, okay. I'm sure the battery will need to be charged, so we'll go ahead and charge that up before we take a look at the, the features and, and design features. So I just wanted to open it up, take a look. Uh, so overall, um, construction looks to be very well done. 
The Brynite PT-28 Oathkeeper is a palm-sized tactical flashlight for military, law enforcement officers, and outdoor sportsmen. Its maximum output can reach 1600 plus lumens with its imported Cree LED, four different brightness levels, and two function modes enough to handle any requirement of lighting. Uh, alloy aluminum reflector, aircraft grade, high strength aluminum, AL6061 T6 with premium type 3 military hard anodized anti-abrasive finish. Impact resistant, 1 meter. Protection level is IP68, 140.8 millimeters long, 25.4 millimeters uh, the body diameter, and 26.5 millimeters the head diameter. Uh, net weight is 110 grams or 3.88 ounces, excluding the battery. Belt clip is removable, as is the tactical ring. Magnetic charging port design, easy to charge, featuring intelligent power indicator. From 70 to 100%, it would be green. 30 to 70 is orange. 10 to 30% is red. And if it's flashing red, you have less than 10% of power. Charging, constant red. When it's fully charged, it will turn green. If there's something that's gone wrong with the charging, it will turn orange. Regulated power supply maintains constant brightness. Uh, has overcharge, over discharge, and overheat protection. Reverse polarity protection prevents damage from improper battery installation. So that, that's nice. If you actually put the battery in backwards, you're not going to fry the internals. That's good. It's compatible with one 18650 battery, which it comes with, or two CR123A batteries. A working voltage is 2.8 to 6 volt. Different output levels. Turbo mode, which is the 1600 plus lumens. Uh, run time at the turbo mode is one minute, and then it would drop to 109 minutes at the lower setting. High is 360 lumens. If you just keep it on high, it'd be 210 minutes. Middle is 60 lumens, 960 minutes. Low is 10 lumens. It's uh, 5,880 minutes. It strobes at 1,600 lumens, and it has an SOS flash of 60 lumens. Beam distance is 245 meters. Uh, or 267 yards. Intensity is uh, 15,200 plus candela. Now the case itself, you can put the flashlight in the case. And while in the case, you have access to the tail switch. And the bottom opening is open to allow the light to shine through. The belt clip is can rotate, so you can basically put this on your belt, turn it on, and position it to be able to shine the light in front of you. So you know that's that's you know kind of a nice feature. Um, it has a little pouch on the side for a spare battery, uh, or I guess you could put the charging cord in there if you wanted to to carry that with you. So yeah, overall I like it. Comes with uh, uh, quite a, uh, quite a few features. Uh, so, I'll, like I said, I'll be interested to try this thing out. So, I guess uh, now we wait till it gets dark. We'll take it outside and uh, see how it performs outside. Okay, we're outside tonight to take a look at the PT-28 Oathkeeper flashlight. I'm going to go ahead and just take a look, see how it is as far as brightness. Now, we're just in the back uh, yard of, uh, of the homestead here, and so uh, there's actually quite a bit of ambient light. So. You could make the argument you don't really need a flashlight, but you get a pretty good idea of seeing how bright this is going to be. So uh, this is uh, just what it looks like currently without any uh, illumination going as far as from the flashlight. We'll go ahead and go ahead and turn it on here. This is on the uh, the high mode, and as you can see, it's uh, it's pretty bright. Uh, the shed back there is probably about mm, 25 yards or so. Uh, so we'll go ahead and go through the various brightness settings. So this is the at, at the high level. This is on the lowest illumination setting. That's the next to high. There's that one. And then there's the, the higher turbo mode. And uh, as you can see, there's uh, quite a bit of light that comes out on this. Um, it illuminates everything pretty good. It's got uh, a fairly wide spill. Uh, and uh, as far as a hot spot, it's not an amazingly sharp hot spot. It's, um, it's pretty even light all throughout its range. There again, that's the minimum illumination setting. And then the turbo mode. Now there's a little bit of haze tonight. You can't really see um, there is uh, some trees back behind 
over the, the shed line there, probably about 50 yards. Uh, you can just barely see the trunk where it's making it out there. Uh, so and a lot of that's just because it is it, it is kind of murky out tonight, so that's you know kind of taking a toll on, on the, its distance and range. And of course there's the strobe. Okay, I'm about 15 yards here and uh, just get an idea of what a strobe effect would be. So that's just with the light on and there's the strobe. Um, overall, I like it.